Hello everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. AGT contestant furiously screams at Simon Cowell as she's brutally booed for bizarre face yoga skills in audition fail. Coco is a 44-year-old face yoga specialist who appeared on AGT in a bright pink blazer to share her talent with the world. After she announced her talent, Many of the judges appeared confused except Sofia Vergara 51. So quickly announced, I follow you on Instagram. She also admitted that she does some face yoga exercises while she's driving in her car. Face yoga, according to Coco, is a natural way to maintain your youthful appearance. Coco, convinced that she could win the competition with her talent, started by getting the judges to take part in a face yoga exercise. She made all of the judges buzz their lips like they were playing the trumpet and stick out their tongues. Simon Cowell, 63, quickly hit his buzzer, indicating he was no longer interested in the performance. Coco responded by yelling, This is a natural alternative to plastic surgery. Howie Mandel, 67, followed in Simon's footsteps by hitting their buzzer, but Sophia and Heidi Klum, 50, held out. Soon after, the audience started to boo Coco so loudly that Simon and the other judges couldn't hear her. Howie then hit Hades buzzer for her, and he soon hit Sophia's as well, so the act would come to an end. Sophia wanted her to continue so badly that she actually asked, Do you do private sessions? Howie replied by telling Sophia to hire Coco, and said that face yoga should be done in private, not on a stage. Coco didn't like what she was hearing, and he yelled, but AGT is for any talent. AGT is not just for dancers or singers or magicians. AGT is for any talent, any talent. The vote ended up being split down the middle with Sophia and Heidi voting yes, while Simon and Howie voted no. AGT fans on Twitter weren't thrilled with the concept of face yoga, and many couldn't see the value in it. One said, who is gonna pay to watch face yoga in Vegas, not even a free demonstration? Someone else asked, what is going on with this face yoga's asterisk asterisk p? You have got to be kidding me. Underscore facey underscore yoga? No matter how good you feel afterward, it's not a talent you want for a Vegas act. Added a third. Another said, this looks far more like a beauty routine than a talent. Is the next act going to be brow waxing? A fifth said, This was just stupid. What makes someone think that they can headline in Vegas by playing with their face? Fans have questioned a major facet of the show after a viewer inquired about the international aspect of the talent series. On Reddit, a fan pointed out that despite being called AGT, the show featured plenty of overseas acts. Others questioned the fairness of having experienced acts from other countries' versions of the show compete, and even suggested a name change could be in order. The original poster wrote, Given that the name is America's Got Talent, I just have a simple question. Why is it that people are able to travel from all over the world to perform in this variant of the show? Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love their performances, I'm just confused by the concept. I feel like the show could either be renamed, or maybe another show in a similar format could be created. I don't even know. In response, another added, You're not wrong. America's Got Talent and other countries use a possessive as on the country, implying its acts belong to the country the show is named. However, they might as well just call AGT something more worldly if they're trying to go more mainstream international. They should rename it, agreed a third. However, one person reasoned. The name just references where the show takes place. All of the acts, including international acts, are in America when auditioning, so it makes sense to still call it America's Got Talent, because they all compete and perform in America. On another forum covering the same topic, a further commenter snarked. I don't think it's fair for experienced contestants to be on AGT. 
If American experienced contestants have to be on All Stars, then foreign experienced contestants should also have to be on All Stars. They continued. Even worse is the fact that they even allow finalists and even winners of foreign got talent and other talent shows to compete with the inexperienced AGT contestants. Honestly, explain to me how that's fair. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.